this is all too metaphysical for me. Um, I want to get physical, really. One definition of the world is the physical nature of the planet. The first thing that Donald Trump says he will do is abandon the climate change accord, which only came into being last week. It's sort of amazing to me that actually, if we're talking about saving the world, the first thing is actually doing something about arresting the, the appallingly threatening atrocity of climate change. The fact that Donald Trump, it's not a problem for him, actually, that he could, and someone who, by the way, has a large house in Florida where slimy inundation is already lapping at the foundations can do this, means that actually reason is dead. The entirety of the election campaign was a victory of lies, falsehood, uh, irrationality over reason. So the first thing we have to ask ourselves is how do we actually develop a form of communication which is not intellectual? I, exactly, I'm so interested in your, in your out, brilliantly outrageous interpolation. How do we actually... <laughs> How do we actually make reason entertaining? How do we speak? How many millennials are there out there in the darkness, actually? If you put up your hands, I couldn't see you anyway. Right, okay, okay. Not enough of you showed up to vote in Minnesota and Arizona. And, and, and so this is, you know, if we start with the basic question of how to save the planet Earth, then we get to the question of how do we find a language that deals with the entertainment of unreason. And I'm not talking Dr. Pangloss here. I'm just saying the possibility of affecting a political decision by distinguishing lies from truth. That's, you know, kind of ground zero of the Enlightenment, really. Things follow from that. That has been essentially confounded. It didn't matter that, that, you know, when, when Donald Trump was caught out of the lie, he, as they say in America, doubled down on the lie. That seems to be something the Marquis de Condorcet could probably not have anticipated.